famous uh, story now in the Nepali media that he already had a uh, so-called wife whom he uh, announced to be her, his wife, but there was no official marriage. Uh, Rita or Sarita, both of Kajiran uh, in Sarlahi. And he even took this Rita bot uh, to Hal Korea jungle in, during the Godimai, uh, after the Godimai ended, because actually he asked Rita bot to hide him uh, when he announced that he would stop the Godimai animal sacrifices in 2009, but he was, uh, he told uh, Rita and her family that he is unable to do it, so they have to hide him. Uh, and uh, they, because they were illiterate, very simple-minded Tamang villagers, so they still uh, they still admired and worshipped him as the reincarnation of Buddha, and they they were just not questioning because anything he is standing must have some spiritual reason, and um, Rita Bot was uh, obviously in love with him. He was a young boy of something like 17 that time in 2009 uh, he was born in 2000 uh, he was born in uh, 1990 so it's uh, he was 19 years old so uh, they started to live together in Rita Bot's uh, room which is shown in the Nepali media and uh, but when he when the Godimai ended and he took Rita Bot back to Hal Korea that now they will live together, then uh, Rita Bot stayed there for some time because she was witnessed by other people, but then soon she disappeared without any trace. And uh, he, her mother and uh, father died crying after her and her mother is totally broken, she has to take uh, medicine uh, because she is, she She's nervous, she has a ner long, prolonged nervous breakdown from losing her daughter and uh, she, they never got any news about her. But in the beginning, Rita Bot had been witnessed by, exactly by this Prem Dorje Bal Lama, exactly the time when Bomjan was taking her back after the Godimai all ended. And uh, Bonjon was dishonest because he was even lying. He sent the lamas to the Godimai venue, which was very risky for them because the, uh, the Hindu uh, followers from India might have, some of them might have been even aggressive uh, that the Buddhists, why do they interfere into their rituals of animal sacrifice? But nothing happened because there were police as well. But these lamas were waiting for Bonjol until 3 a.m. He's telling in the press conference and Bonjol never showed up. So obviously they were extremely disappointed because they were thinking that Bonjol is like um, the maximum. He, he, he must be Buddha's incarnate. Uh, he, he must be something very special and he must be a maximum of morality. And he, he was lying to them. He sent them into the dangerous situation and he himself did not show up. Instead, he was living in a sexual relationship for one month with a young girl. Though the, 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 what they had to propagate about him was that he was a celibate meditating Buddhist monk, a tapasvi living in tapas. Tapasya means ascetic meditation. He was an asket, but he was not ascetic. He broke his ascetic. He never did any ascetism, actually, because we know it already from another nun, Asali Lama, who saw actually this Ritabot as well. Uh, but this was already when Bonjon told the same, I mean, the same nonsense to Asali, the nun as well, Asali was secretly bringing food to Bonjon. She is saying no one should know this, that Bonjon is eating, they told her, and she was so devoted that she was trying to keep this secret, although she was already questioning him. But the, the, bigger, the biggest break in all her trust in Bonjon and belief was when he sexually um, tried to rape her. 
and he could not fulfill it because Rajkumari, his bigger sister, uh, arrived and disturbed him. This was happening in his so-called underground meditation place, the Patal Gumba, which was under the Churten uh, built by the followers of Bonjon in Halkoria jungle. So after that, Asali also left and she left the, uh, all the illusions of Buddhist nun and she just went abroad to work, just to forget about all this. But she was also scared of Bomjon because they threatened her. Actually, Ganga, uh, Bomjon's bigger brother, threatened her to be killed if she would tell the truth about Bomjon. First of all, eating secretly, and secondly, uh, sexually harassing her. And what is interesting that this Asali also met Ritabot, who was taken a little later after the Gadimai by Bonjon. And the two girls, actually the nun and the, I think Ritabot was not, she didn't cut her hair to be nun, uh, Ritabot and uh, Ga uh, Asali, they told to each other, uh, I am Bonjon's wife, just imagine. Oh, I am also Bonjon's wife, they tell. And uh, no, no, he told me that I was his wife in past life and that's why I am his proper wife. And the other says, no, he told me that I was his wife in past life and I am his proper wife. And then they realized uh, that he is just uh, faking both of them. So we don't get any news about, from Asali about the fate of Ritabot, but most probably when Bomjon realized that, that uh, the lie came out, his lie came out and that he wanted <laughs> to cheat both of the girls just to sleep with them and Asali left, then probably he somehow punished or harmed uh, Ritabot. But of course, this is just my guess. In any case, Ritabot disappeared from that time and in 2009, uh, when she returned from Gadimai and her parents say that uh, at one point Bonjon came to the house and told uh, like they told that Ritabot disappeared and uh, he like told that uh, I am also going to search for her, you also search for her uh, but don't tell to the police because I would have I would have problem from that and you would have problems as well so this is a very strange uh, reaction if he really is innocent in the disappearance of Ritabot then why would he say not to contact the police yes so um, the, because these people were frightened because he threatened later on some people of Bomjon also arrived on a motorbike and they literally threatened them not to go to police so this is the situation what Bonjon is hijacking and misusing in Nepal. The poor illiterate villagers, they are totally helpless and uh, they know that Bonjon has a lot of money and connections with politicians and he bribes and they, they want to survive in their villages, they have their lands there, they cannot just escape like he's escaping from, from district to district if he if he makes a lot of problems, he just changes his place and he takes all his uh, followers and he settles in a different place. But the, the local villagers cannot do that. They are settled there, they are inherited land. They, they have to survive. So they have to accept the authority which is just the ruling authority in the area. And in many villages, Bonjon's followers took the authority. And so they are establishing, uh, like in a very low profile, Bom Jones' blue, blue dharma, blue monk dharma, actually by force. And uh, I don't know uh, if the Dalai Lama is really agreeing with the fact that Ram Bahadur Bom John, in the name of Buddhist dharma, is actually burning Buddhist books of Tibetan Buddhist lineage and throwing out uh, Buddhist statues to the street. 
And again, uh, the followers are very speculative and manipulative. And they will always say, oh, but Guruji personally never does this. And if the, the Lamas are doing this, his Lamas, then it's their fault. Then you have to turn your anger against those Lamas. So Bongjon is always using his people to fulfill his plans. He tells them to do this and that. He gives them orders and then he washes his hands and oh, I have nothing to do with that, it's their fault. So uh, Marichi, like me, was uh, he kidnapped and uh, sexually abused and tortured, although also personally by himself, but he's washing in ha his hands and tells it's Darshan Subba's fault, it's uh, Tomek Tarnowski's fault, in just Badur Vaiba's fault, I have nothing to do with it. And now again, you must be sure that it's Bon Jones order. His monks, blue monks, never do anything what is against Bon Jones will. He would not, he would not bear it. They, uh, they had been totally brainwashed and they do always only what Bon John wants them to do. So the, the blasphemy and the desecration of Buddhism is going on now in Nepal at the direct order and planning of Rambahadur Bonjon, the Buddha boy. <laughs>